What up everybody? Monday morning, figured it was time to do a shop tour here. Haven't done a walk around in a while, so I was going to show you what's going on here at Well Sorted. Uh, flip the camera first. So, we're looking like a Land Cruiser shop this week. If you look around, uh, everything, at least indoors, is Land Cruisers at the moment. The, uh, the first one we'll come to over here. A little FJ40. This is a 1969 truck owned by a guy who lives near us up in Summit County, Colorado, near Breckenridge. Basically brought it in, said needs annual service, so we're going to be doing a knuckle job and some brake adjustments. A little bit of carb tune-up, not too much, but you know, kind of typical FJ40 summer driver. It's that time of year with Memorial Day weekend approaching. Take care of a few things like that. Sitting next to it, unfortunately hasn't changed much. This FZJ80, the uh, truck has had the motor stripped, it's ready to roll for a V8 swap. Uh, we actually have the V8 too. What we're waiting on is a special adapter for the transfer case. So we're working with Quickdraw brand to do new 6L80 to HF2A transfer case adapters. So that should hopefully come in this week. And we'll show you that as we get into the details, but gonna have a 500 horse LS3 with a 6L80 made it to the HF2A. And the plan is to keep stock driveline locations, so stock drive shafts, stock shifter locations, etc. Should be a pretty slick build if we uh, things come together as planned. <laughs> Sitting next to it, up on this hoist, another local FJ40 um, clutch completely smoked in this one. And graduation for high schools this week, and the owner would like to carry his daughter in it with the top down. So trying to slam a clutch into this guy real quick, get her up and running. <laughs> next to that, the. Uh, FJ80, so this is a 92 truck. We pulled the 3FE out and just the other day dropped this in. One HDT imported from Japan. It's had a little bit of a uh, refresh done, the bottom end bearings, this new turbo setup. It's a Garrett GT26 with a few tweaks. And we're getting ready to really dive into the wiring. We've been kind of picking the engine harness apart, picking the body harness apart, um, but the next part is integrating those two together. And then popping the tranny and tea case back in it. So you can see the spaghetti down here. It's kind of a kind of the way these things go. Lots of colored wires, lots of tracing, lots of tape to mark things, and then uh, join the two, get the dash communicating with the engine, and get everything up and running. So it's going to be a pretty sweet truck when it's done. Hopefully, in a few weeks, we'll have her fired up and test driving around here. Swinging around back here in the uh, fab area, the CJ5 project we've got going. So we did a fair bit of work last week on firewall. The owner wanted power brakes, so we added a power brake booster setup, uh, which necessitated some bracing. So the in inner firewall, we did some work to add some ribs up in there. These things are just super flimsy from the factory and it, with all that extra weight, it was not feeling good. So put a little bracing. We've now worked on a uh, seat track setup. So a seat track for Corbo bucket seats put the roll cage back in because we're putting a new soft hopper on from best top. So drilling all the holes to get it mounted and then we're welding up old holes in the body. So just kind of moving this thing through the metal work process. It'll be going to paint hopefully maybe a month or so, something like that. Maybe two depends on uh, how much further we go with some of the metal work here and uh, lift the tub off, do some blasting, etc. Behind this up on the fab hoist, this is my truck, our sort of shop FJ 60. Um, had a little problem out in Moab. It was running a coil spring rear suspension that broke. The, uh, the kit was not really strong enough in my opinion and a lot of hard rock crawling. It literally ripped out of the frame rails. I don't know if you can see it in the dark here. So I'm uh, gonna repair that. We're using a new kit from Torfab that's gonna put similar setup but with airbags, a better mount design. And then actually this truck is going away. It's been sold. So getting ready to say goodbye to this one. Send it down the way to the guys at Goose Gear. It's going to be one of their display trucks that shows and Overland Expo and things like that all summer long. So keep an eye out for the blue truck with some Goose Gear badging floating around at Overland Rallies near you. Over here, the uh, FJ40. This project, 77, clean truck, mostly stock restoration, still 2F and everything. Um, we're doing the vintage air. We're doing some extra, extra lights, winch, things like that. Um, kind of been stuck in paint jail. We're waiting on fenders. As you can tell, we have a right front, but not a left front there. So if the left front hopefully arrives today, we can start finishing assembly of the whole front clip. As you can see, a lot of the kind of motor, mechanicals, plumbing, and wiring are coming together, but we've been 
sort of waiting on parts, trying to get this thing to come together. We've got some of the interior done, waiting on transmission tunnel, waiting on a gas tank cover, so things like that all have to come in so we can do final assembly of the covers and then put the seats in and kind of finish wiring and all those little bits. So all that comes together, hopefully in the next one to two weeks, the owner's gonna ideally pick it up at the end of June here, so we need to finish her up and then do some test driving and shake it all down for him. Uh, sitting next to this, well, this is like engine and transmission row over here, but pretty exciting new addition. Uh, so as you know, we do motorsports activities in our spare time, and we've been racing Baja and off-road desert racing with another car, and uh, just a couple days ago, I made a bonsai run to Vegas to pick up this one. This is a class 10 uh, buggy for SCORE and other off-road racing groups. It is a limited class, runs a GM Ecotec four-cylinder, non-turbo, just kind of a basic naturally aspirated two and a half liter, um, but unlimited chassis and suspension. So this thing scoots, it's gonna be a really nice upgrade. Our old car, a class 12 car, runs a Volkswagen 2275 uh, Volkswagen motor with a Volkswagen beam front end. So this thing is a lot nicer. It's got big A-arms up front here, you can see. It's gonna go much faster in the whoops and the rough. And the uh, the new modern engine with modern EFI, a lot nicer in the rough stuff because you don't have to deal with carburetors and fuel bouncing out of the bowls. So we just picked this guy up. It's new to us, it's not a brand new car, but uh, gonna start prepping it to campaign score this year. We're definitely gonna race the Baja 1000. We may do some other races in the fall. We haven't quite figured out our schedule yet. Um, first step is safety inspection and prep on this guy. So keep an eye out for that. We'll be posting some on the Well Sorted. And then this car is, uh, has its own account under Vista Racing. So it's our kind of sister uh, organization where my partner and I will be sharing the info, race videos, prep, etc. as we get this thing together. <laughs> Here's a shot of the motor you can see tucked back here. It's a, like I said, GM Ecotec, and hard to see up in there, but it's a transaxle. It's a Mendiola five-speed sequential transaxle. So a super fun little car to drive. Really looking forward to getting out and uh, shaking it down for us, getting used to driving it, and then getting a race ready. So I think that's all that's going on these days. Um, keep, uh, keep an eye on the YouTube channel. We'll keep posting videos. We're going to be doing some build teachers as we get further into some of these trucks and then we get a couple new projects coming in next month they're gonna be pretty exciting and also get a few of these on the road so we'll just keep posting videos and watch out on instagram and facebook for the day-to-day -day pictures of what's happening if you got any questions hit us up in the comments thanks talk to you later